Why Othello? Othello presents a very streamlined plot. Uh, it's a fairly later Shakespeare, so the language is tricky and a little uh, idiosyncratic. It's not as regular as something like Romeo and Juliet. So it provides really great uh, opportunities for actors and student actors specifically to really get in touch with Shakespeare's language, and it has a great plot. Hold your hands, those of you of my inclining and the rest. When Nigel first asked me to play Othello, I was I was unsure of how it would go. Usually, when playing self-serious characters, there is a level of vulnerability to them that is already apparent from some of the first scenes. But when it comes to Othello, there is a sense of bravado or mythology there that I just wasn't used to doing. I don't think Shakespeare writes naive women. I don't think Shakespeare writes, you know, two-dimensional women. So um, when I first came to the role, I really wanted to bring another layer to her. And that was something that was really important to me and something that I really tried to incorporate. I think the biggest challenge I'm finding with Desdemona is finding that balance between, you know, this idea that she's supposed to represent these ideas of purity and naivete and things like that. Um, while still wanting to portray, you know, a powerful woman because she is, I think, the most predominant woman in this play. And it's not an interesting play if the most predominant woman in the play is submissive. What also makes Othello really good for a student uh, audience is that they're very, there are almost no subplots. So the plot is very direct, it's very straightforward, it's fairly simple to follow, and yet there is lots of action and lots of intrigue. I am playing the character Iago. I know that's a bit strange as Iago is typically a male character. However, in this production, we will be having a female Iago. There have been quite a few challenges playing Iago. Uh, first of all, she is not a good person at all. A horrible, horrible person who continuously manipulates everyone around her. Uh, kills people, threatens people. I also work in the scene shop. Uh, this means that I help build sets for productions that are put on um, here. In Othello, I play the role of Amelia. She is Iago's wife and also Desdemona's attendant. I think it's really cool that we have a female Iago. Um, we are able to put on this, like, we have like an LGBTQ aspect of it. And I'm doing my best with Anna, who is Iago, uh, to try to like communicate that to the audience because there's people out there who might resonate with that. When it comes to the violence in the play, I tend to try to handle it as gently as I can. And although that may sometimes end up feeling as if I'm treating people like paper, it is definitely something I've tried to handle less with kid gloves. This is my first time ever stage managing for um, Todd here at the school theater program. Um, it's been very different. Um, it's definitely what we would call a bit of a learning experience for me, um, but it's been a lot of fun. There's definitely a lot more aspects that we can play with, obviously, a lot more high tech, a lot more people, a lot more experience in the room. Um, and that's something you really don't get um, at a lot of school campuses. I love her unfailing loyalty. Um, she really is one of the most deeply loyal characters in this show. It has love, it has jealousy, it has lots of action, murder, betrayal. Um, and so it has a kind of rip-roaring plot. At the same time, it also has significant substance. It is a captivating storyline. It's action packed. You will never be bored. I believe, I think you'll always be on the edge of your seat in every single moment. I think you should see us. <laughs> There's so many things going on um, and the way that it's portrayed, it's really raw. So I feel like it's gonna hit home to a lot of audience members. We have worked hard to uncover the meaning of this text and I think it will be very clear. It's one of those plays that really does encapsulate the black experience in majority white spaces. And I think that everyone should come see this show because the story at the center of it is something that is really, really important, especially in the contemporary setting in which we're telling it. Um, obviously, 
Othello is a story that is well known. A lot of people have these impressions of what the story of Othello should be. A lot of us grew up reading it in middle school and high school, and this is very much a different version of it that speaks a lot stronger to a more modern audience.